Southern Airways just recently started round trip service from Pueblo to Denver. The commuter airline is offering these daily flights in an effort to connect Pueblo to its nearest hub. KRDO News Channel 13's Natasha Lynn explains how it will impact the Southern Colorado community. The city of Pueblo was enticing from the commuter airline, as Pueblo has been designated by the government as an essential air service market, meaning it connects smaller served communities to nearby large markets. And also, the airline already operates out of Denver, which is a hub to connect to other big cities. Previously, SkyWest operated this route on a larger aircraft, but offered limited flights. Southern Airways believes their method of more frequent flights per day on a smaller aircraft will be more enticing for passengers. Previous airline only had 12 flights a week, uh, two flights a day, Monday through Friday, Friday and one on the weekend. We have double that number. So you have more choices now. Southern Airways has partnered with United, American and Alaska Airlines. So passengers can book their flights between Pueblo and their final destination on any of the three airlines on a single transaction, and their bags will transfer automatically. Getting a flight from Pueblo to Denver for whatever reason, whether it's vacation, business, um, the opportunity to, to connect in Denver and then go anywhere else you want to go in the world uh, is, is there through this service. The aircraft is a King Air Super 200, offering a private style flying experience with inexpensive fares of under $100 each way and between three to four flights a day. The flights begin taking off around 540 in the morning and come back around nine at night. And the flights are timed at 55 minutes, but typically land in much less time than that. Southern Airways believes their model will attract travelers in the Southern Colorado area to Denver as a final destination in place of driving to DIA or beyond. Reporting from the Pueblo Memorial Airport, I'm Natasha Lynn for KRDO News Channel 13.